Top GOP donors not happy about the lack of progress on the growth agenda. They're not blaming the president. They are blaming the Republican Party. One of those donors joins us now. Welcome to Dan Palmer. All right, Dan, what's your beef here? You, you think the GOP is just not getting it done? You know, the House is getting it done. Uh, they're passing the tough, uh, tough bills and sending them over to the Senate. But the Senate's become a graveyard. Um, you know, we have a nominal majority of 52, but when three or four wander off, no matter which way you bring it up, uh, we don't have a functional majority. Chuck Schumer has a functional majority. Well, is that so the president's a guy like me fault? Who's I mean, has the, has the president gone to his Twitter account and said such outrageous things that he's lost so many Senate Republicans and that, in fact, it is his fault and not the Republicans' fault? Look, I think that a lot of the uh, senior guys in the Senate have lost the American voter. These guys had their last chance, uh, you know, uh, coming up with tax reform. They need, to, uh, they need to actually produce on this agenda. It's not going to be good enough to tell us, oh, you got to get used to the pace of Washington or, uh, gee, we just couldn't quite get everyone on the boat. That's not good enough. They've got uh, two strikes with health care. I think uh, this leadership team needs to produce on taxes or it's going to be over. You hosted a fundraiser, I believe, uh, with Vice President Pence and some other Republicans, uh, Mr. McCarthy. Um, did you tell them flat out uh, a lot of the donors just ain't ponying up for the Republican Party? Is that what you said to them? Well, actually, I sat with uh, the folks who are leading the, the president's political team and the vice president's political team and a lot of the other donors in the room and um, asked them how they were approaching the 2018 cycle. And uh, the feedback I got from the different parties is that uh, we're, we lack coordination. And I think my recommendation to all of them was, you know, we need to get the major players in a room, get out a whiteboard, figure out who's going to do what, stop stepping on each other's toes. That whole thing down in Alabama was a huge waste of money and uh, a food fight out in the public. It's not the right way to go about it. So you're critical so, of the president uh, to some degree here. No, I think the president uh, is on, on message. I think that the, um, the, the culture of consultants in Washington, D.C., um, you know, they're, they're timid. Uh, they are risk averse. And so they're sort of staying with the familiar. But these are unusual times uh, and they require extraordinary measures. In the short run, uh, I think the leadership needs to run the Senate 24-7, 365. Uh, force the Democrats to stand in the well and filibuster pursuant to Senate rules if they really want to block nominations or block the Senate, uh, excuse me, the president's agenda. And uh, don't let them out early to go home to the district and fundraise and rabble rouse and make a lot of noise. You know, the top 12 fundraisers in the United States Senate today are all Democrats. The top Republican fundraiser is Ted Cruz. Uh, I think, you know, we've had four consecutive change elections with Obama and uh, we've had uh, you know, the House takeover by the Tea Party, and then we had the Senate, now we've had Trump. I think the guys need to get the message. The country is in urgent okay. uh, need of change. All right. Uh, Dan Palmer, thanks for joining us, sir. I think uh, the Republican Party and the president will get the message that you are delivering. Thanks very much. <laughs>